For millions of people in Georgia, today's election could be a reason to raise a glass on the ballot in about 100 cities and counties whether or not to allow stores to sell alcohol on Sundays. This is the first time in history that Georgia voters can decide the issue for themselves. Brooke Baldwin reports. David Greenbaum is the owner of Tower Beer, Wine and Spirits in Atlanta, Georgia. His family went into the liquor sales business back in 1938 after the repeal of Prohibition. Decades later, there could be another milestone in the state of Georgia, the lifting of the ban of Sunday alcohol sales. It would be nice for people to buy when they want. Georgia is one of three states, along with Connecticut and Indiana, where the sale of all types of liquor is prohibited in stores on Sundays, although people can still buy alcohol in bars and restaurants. In April, Georgia Governor Nathan Deal signed a law that allows local jurisdictions to hold referendums on whether to lift the ban or not. And today, Georgia residents are voting. If the ban is lifted, Greenbaum says he'll be ready. We will definitely be open, fully staffed, and probably for the first six months we will overstaff. Economist Tom Smith estimates that Sunday sales of alcohol in Georgia would bring an additional $5 million in state revenue. He says that it won't have a significant economic impact for the state, but it would affect smaller towns and communities. There might be some municipalities who would view this additional income as the difference between, let's say, having three police cars and having four police cars. Some conservatives are against lifting the ban, saying it'll encourage people to drink more and will lead to more traffic accidents. It's the excessive consumption that uh, we would like to bring people's attention to. And the, uh, the fact that Sunday is a unique day, there's more leisure time, and this is uh, also a time for, uh, for drinking. However, many Georgia residents disagree and see the ban as an inconvenience. Enjoy a nice game, but you gotta, you got to store up for it. I mean, that's ridiculous. We need to update our laws and be more reflective of our current, you know, times. In the meantime, Greenbaum is preparing for the change. Um, once we find out what hours are going to be open on Sunday, you know, on our front doors, we're going to scrape off closed on Sunday, and we're going to have Sunday from whatever time till whatever time. Um, yes, I've already contacted my sign guy to be ready. And that was Brooke Baldwin reporting. Thanks so much for watching today. As always, I'd love to hear what you think. You can continue the conversation with me online on Facebook or on Twitter at Randy K CNN. That will do it for me, and I will hand it over now to Brooke Baldwin. Hi, Brooke. Hey, Randy. Thank you.